Yo, this is I, this again, and finally get to talk about something other than Macroverse PC comic books. Yes, for the first time, I'm going to say this, and I actually agree with Amazing Atheist on a comic book movie. Uh, Origin, X-Men Origin, Wolverine, sucked. Okay? It sucked. And it, the problem is, I, I, I'm going to get into that in a minute. Well, it, it was a bad movie altogether anyways. I mean, after X-Men 3... It's pretty much trash, but here's the problem. You, uh, the, uh, the reason why it got 86 million, most likely, it still confuses the hell out of me because on its first day it got 35 and then it gets up to 86. How the fuck? It, but that doesn't really confuse me is that what most people don't understand is that the Marvel really needed that X Men movie to die in theaters. I'm not joking. They actually needed that movie to die, uh, to to bomb basically, because Marvel handed out those copyright or you know those film rights to those different studios back then, with one thing that was written down on it that said if you're unable to come up with a sequel to the movie, that Marvel Comics gets those copyrights back, uh, gets all the film rights back, and you know. But now, fast forward, Marvel has made a permanent deal with Paramount Pictures. You know, with Hasbro. It's a bit complicated, but both Hasbro and Marvel making this deal at the exact same time actually do coalesce with the uh, buyout of Toy Biz, who was the owner of Marvel Comics. And now that Marvel Comics is owned by, well, Marvel Entertainment, which... Has nothing to do with Hasbro. Hasbro actually let Marvel Comics and Marvel Entertainment go. They just took out Toy Biz and ripped half of Marvel Studios apart. I mean, half of the Marvel Entertainment, which makes the movies apart, and ended up creating both Hasbro Studios and Marvel Studios. But it's a bit confusing. But they, uh, they actually had Hasbro actually had the chance to buy out Marvel, and they didn't. They just took out the people that were in control of Marvel. Or basically, they took them over and uh, and let Marvel just quietly walk out the front door. But anyways, Marvel Comics and and well, Hasbro both made a permanent deal with Paramount Pictures, and the reason why they did that was that Paramount offers Marvel comic full control because the problem with when they gave out the copyrights to Fox and the rest of them Marvel really doesn't have absolute control over the movies they do not unless the studios let them they got lucky with Spider-Man and the rest of them but uh, it, it's safe to say that fans aren't really in control of the X-Men franchise right now not one single fan. In fact, the comic book is a dismal disaster that pretty much was uh, predicted ever since that god awful X Men 3, and now the comic books have suffered horribly, and it's almost unsalvageable. The problem is, is that uh, the Marvel Zombies, aka the Marvel fanboys, I call them the Marvel Zombies don't want to let go of anything. They want to make sure that everything, anything that's attached to Marvel has got to succeed. They don't care if they blow out half their checkbooks. they got to make sure it succeeds, even though Marvel needs this movie to bomb in theaters, which is funny. Uh, but they'll do it. And, and then you got those X-Men fanatics. I mean, basically, if Joe Quesada takes out a pencil box, takes a big fucking shit in that pencil box and stamp X-Men Mar and property of Marvel and just and, lock, and padlocks it and he can sell that thing for 80 million dollars and people wouldn't even know until they actually open up the box and find out they've been screwed but then they'll say look Marvel's giving me a wonderful piece of shit you know even though they're rubbing shit in their fucking mouth which is horribly disgusting but um, the thing is, Marvel needs control over the X-Men franchise, or at least the movie end, 
and they can't quite get it until they got the television rights of X-Men, but they don't have the movie rights. And then what they would do is send it straight over to Paramount. Because look at the Punisher movies. The last one sucked horribly. I mean, Jello pudding head slitter. I'm not kidding. How can pun- how can a man with no superpowers be able to punch through a man's face? Literally. I mean, their faces are made out of Jello. But anyways, uh, we we know that basically the Punisher movies under Lion Gates have bombed so to the point that they can't make any more sequels. So. Punisher is going back to Par- is going back to Marvel Comics all the movie rights, which means Paramount will now take control of the Punisher films from now on, and that uh, and Paramount told Marvel, hey, you know, you, you guys get full control, and and with Marvel having control basically over the mil- movies and the characters. And all they can make movies based more on the actual characters that they want, and and actually have fans support behind them. But now, but with the X Men franchise and the X Men movie making as much as that, it as it did with the eighty six million, that's not going to happen. Uh, the X Men franchise, the the fin- X Men fanatics and the Marvel fan, the Marvel zombies don't realize. That by supporting this movie, putting all their hopes on this movie, you're actually hurting Marvel and the X-Men franchise really bad. Because the franchise needs to bomb so that Marvel Marvel can take back control over the franchise again. And, and allow them to work with Paramount to come up with something that more of what the fans want. But they can't do it now. There's, Marvel can, I mean, Fox right now can do whatever they want. They've already gone, because they want to do another, they want to do an X-Men 4, but pretty much, as you know, half the cast is dead, and they can't follow any storylines. And by the way, that Marvel Mutant Cure thing that was on X-Men 3 was actually, they all say it came from the Josh Worthen story. That's not true. Chris Claremont actually did a mutant uh, cure story that was well before even Josh Whedon got a hold of it, but that's just for your information. But like I said, you guys fucked over your favorite. This is funny. This is like watching the fans fuck up uh, their own favorite fan fiction. Congratulations, guys! Congratulations, you're hurting your own f- fan club.